Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Battlefield 2042 video. In today's video we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the SFAR MGL. We'll be going over its stats, best loadouts, and if it's a good weapon to bring onto the battlefield. But before we get to that, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. Plus you'll always have some Battlefield content to watch. It's a win-win. Now let's begin. First up we have the stats. With the SFAR, we're going to be looking at a damage range of 18 to 26, which is above average for the assault rifle class. This means you're looking at a 4 to 6 shot body shot kill. Now, headshot kills will double the damage, making the damage 36 minimum and 52 maximum, making it a 2 to 3 shots to kill for headshots. Then we have a fire rate of 600 rounds per minute, which is the slowest in the AR class and one of the slowest in the game. With that being said, it's not that bad for most engagements and most of the time, but in a close range firefight, you're definitely going to be at a disadvantage, so you're going to want to make your shots count. Finally, we have the mag size, which of course varies in which ammo type you have selected. It starts with the higher power ammo, which holds 20 rounds. That's the default, and it's pretty bad. You're going to find yourself reloading way too often. 20 rounds really just doesn't feel like it's enough, especially when you're at range dealing less damage or if you miss some of your shots. But you can quickly upgrade to the standard ammo, which holds 30 rounds, which is, you know, an average amount and overall a bit better in my opinion. The damage is actually pretty good. Doing a minimum of 18 and a max of 26 is pretty solid. Up close, you're going to be cleaning up with a 4 shot kill and at distance, you're going to have a 6 shot kill, which isn't bad at all. Most of the time you're going to have a 5 shot kill though since most engagements are going to happen between 10 to 49 meters, making 5 shots the most common number of rounds to take down a target. The fire rate is of course pretty bad, you know with it being one of the slowest in the game. And the mag size is dependent on which one you pick, meaning it's kind of hard to judge, but the standard ammo is pretty solid and probably the best pick overall unless you're going for a particular build. Then we have the one thing that sets the S far apart from all the other assault rifles and really a lot of the other weapons in the game the unremovable grenade launcher attachment. Now this does exactly what you think it does, but you can have several types of ammo for it. You can have frag, armor piercing, smoke, and incendiary. Frag is great for infantry, AP is great for lightly armored vehicles, and I stress lightly, like jeeps, because trust me, you're not taking down a tank with this thing, I tried. Uh, smoke is great for covering your movement and obscuring your location, and incendiary is just great for choke points or to block enemy movements. Personally, I like using the frag to help take out infantry, but it's really up to you and your personal playstyle and what you want to go with. Now that we know the stats and the important nerd numbers, what is the best way to use the SFAR out on the battlefield? Now this is a medium range weapon. You're going to lose the SMGs and shotguns up close and at a distance, DMR or sniper rifle will outshoot you. So you're really going to want to try to engage enemies at that mid range, the range at which your grenade launcher is the most useful. Of course what ammo you have changes how you're going to use it, but with up to three types being able to be selected and switched to, you can pretty much cover all your options. You know, you can cover all your bases. At medium range you'll be able to fire at enemies with frags, block a path or cover a group of baddies with incendiary, cover you and your team's movements with smoke, and with AP you can just, you know, fire at enemy armor. Try to always be on the lookout for times where the enemy will group up, especially when you're playing breakthrough. Your grenade launcher is highly capable of killing enemies, but if you aim your grenades right and hit as many targets as you can, you can also heavily damage a lot of foes. This will make it easier to kill them with your, you know, regular bullets, but harming all these enemies also makes it easier for your team to wipe up some kills. I mean, splash damage is always a good thing, right? Now let's talk about attachments and what I think is the best build, which is a really good defensive build meant for taking down targets at mid-range. First up, we got the sights. As always, sights are more of a personal preference and use what you're comfortable with, because if you're going to switch to something you're not comfortable with, of course you're not going to be landing your shots, so just use whatever sight you like. But with that being said, I recommend the mid-range sight since you're going to be at that range during most firefights. So I recommend the Ghost Hybrid sights and the Bravo 3x sight. Use the Ghost for most engagements, but if someone gets a bit too far away, switch to the Bravo. Then for the third side, I just went with the UH-1 smart side for those rare occasions where I need to quickly have a close quarter sight. You just want to cover your bases, but put the Ghost Hybrid in the number one slot in my opinion. I think it's probably the best sight for the SFAR, but like I said, use whatever you're comfortable with. Next, we have the ammo attachments. For this slot, I use the high power drum mag. Now I know this lowers the fire rate and increases the reload time, but I find that the 40 rounds per drum comes in much handier than those slight decreases. 
In my eyes, since you're at mid-range, you don't really need a high fire rate, especially since a slower fire rate will make the recoil easier to control. Then in most cases, you're going to be using cover, so when you do need to reload, you can just duck into cover and then quickly get back to shooting. I just find that with a standard issue in the high power mag, you have to reload too much. You can get one, maybe two kills, and then be forced to reload. Whereas if you're using the drone mag, you can keep shooting and take out more targets before having to reload. Of course, if you get rushed, you will be kind of screwed. So you really have to pay attention to the area and notice if your team is being pushed back and if you need to relocate. For the grenade launcher, I recommend the frags the most overall. They're just simple and easy. You can fire them and make the baddies go boom. They're like the jack of all trades. You know, they're pretty much useful in any situation and you're not ever really going to regret having them on. Other than frags, go with the incendiary and smoke in the other two slots. They do their jobs well and they're pretty versatile. I just I can't recommend the AP grenades. They simply don't deal enough damage to the more heavily armored vehicles that are the real pains to take out. Like you're just going to be much better off running with the, uh, the rocket launcher equipment. Finally, we have the barrel attachment. For the first slot, I recommend the extended barrel purely for the projectile velocity. This is going to make landing your shots and leading your targets at mid-range much, much easier. You can actually, like, I felt an increase on how much easier it is to lead my targets. I don't know if that's just me getting better with the gun, but it really helped me. For the other slots, take a muzzle break with vertical recoil control to help control that recoil. And we go with vertical recoil over horizontal recoil because the horizontal really isn't all that bad. And finally, I just throw on a, a, a suppressor for the third slot just in case I ever find myself needing one or just needing to be a little sneaky. But honestly, I really don't switch to it that often. So, this defensive build made up of any mid-range sight, the drum magazine, the frag grenade launcher, and the extended barrel is a lethal mid-range weapon. You can mow down baddies with your accurate slower fire, and when they get all grouped up, you can take them out with the grenade launcher. If you notice the enemy are getting closer to you, you need to back up and relocate and really hold the lines of the battlefield at that mid-range. Now, if you want a more offensive build, I recommend any side of your choice, the standard ammo, frags or incendiary grenades, and a muzzle break. These attachments are going to be better for closer ranges and you'll have a faster reload time. So you can quickly dart in, get a few kills, back out to reload, and then do it again. Now I really don't recommend using it in close range since it's outclassed by most of the other weapons in the game, but if that's your playstyle, I think these are the attachments that will help you the most. That's going to be it for this video. I want to hear from you all. What do you think of the SVAR? What is your favorite weapon to use in Battlefield 2042 and what weapon do you want me to cover next? I don't know, so let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please take a second to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for even more amazing Battlefield 2042 content. I'm the Battle Moon, and I will see you on the battlefield.